That's the low point of my career. And I actually didn't think that was possible, but I do got my proton pack. I've got some sort of weird gun here. I've got something for, I don't know. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but anywho, Coach Corso always says is entertainment, sweetheart, so I'm gonna go full Ghostbusters on this. When Jim Mora took the UConn job late last year, he knew that football program was in a scary proposition. What he didn't know is when he moved into his new house in Storrs, Connecticut, that it was scary too, so scary that he won't even stay in it alone. Not gonna lie, I slept with the door locked. That place is, it's scary. Shadows dancing across the walls. Doors opening and closing on their own. Lights flickering on and off. It gets to a point where it defies logic. Yeah, I think there's ghosts in this house. First year Connecticut head coach Jim Mora and his wife Kathy live in an 82 year old house built on three and a half acres near campus. It has eight bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and according to family and friends who have stayed there, at least one poltergeist. My daughter Lilia has heard voices in the middle of the night. Her door opened and then slammed shut. She will swear that she heard someone whispering in her ear. We were staying upstairs and we had the baby monitor on in the other room and at about two in the morning, my daughter, she woke back up and was just talking. Very calm, very cool, collected, like there was someone sitting there. I felt like there was maybe a ghost, maybe a, a spirit. It was rainy outside, and then I started to walk through the hallway down here, and when I looked up, I saw a figure standing in the black. I swear, I swear that's what happened. I can't make that up. I think it's an old house. I think there's an explanation for all of this, because in my mind, I'm telling myself these things aren't happening. To separate fact from fiction, we invited investigators from the Greater Boston Paranormal Associates to the Mora House. We come into a location that we're told has activity. We're gonna to try to see what's going on. We have a pretty wide array of electronic equipment that we're gonna spread around. We're gonna start off with dowsing rods. If there's anyone in this room on the other side that would like to speak to us, would you please straighten out the rods? Please point them directly away from me. Okay. So clearly you're in the room with us. Can you show me where you are in the room, please? All right. You're standing over in the corner? You can move this pendulum to give me yes and no answers. Is there more than one of you here in the room? I think so. There's friendly spirits. Some of them might be cranky, but that doesn't mean that they're bad. Cranky, that's good, because she's always telling me that I'm the only cranky one around here, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's head upstairs, all right? Do you get something other than me? Right yes. to your left. Yes, most stuff. Sitting on the table right to your left. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty much floating. It's getting Don, but it's also picking up a figure to, to Don's right. So where's, where's our... It's standing between you and Coach. I'm shaking right now, that's, that's incredible. After spending nearly 90 minutes in the house, the paranormal investigators released their findings. There's clearly something here, something that was here before the house, and they seem to be very happy coexisting uh, with the Mars. And after hearing the, 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 the professionals talk about the vibe in this house, yeah, I feel good about it now. I've always felt that if we had some ghosts, they were friendly, I always said that. For people who are gonna be watching this going, this guy has lost his mind, what would you tell them? Come visit. You'll see, it's true. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.